Hi everybody, Gertlo from A Very Cool Cape Town. Um, in this video I'm going to give you a lot of secrets. Uh, a complete free body transformation system. Basically the system that I've been using for my, the past six years. It is uh, going to be generic. Uh, if you want a customized system, you can contact me anytime. So let's look at the free system. For any successful body transformation system, you need to have four parts. Part number one is how you structure your transformation system and your diets. Part two is looking at your diets because your diet forms the biggest part of your transformation success. Part three is your uh, actual training program. And part four is your supplements. Now why supplements fourth? The reason is supplements is not really that important. It's, it carries about 5% towards your actual success. And uh, so if you don't have the money for it, don't stretch. Just leave it out. You're already going to uh, achieve easily about 95% success factor. So let's look at those four parts. Part number one, that's how you're going to structure your training approach. Now, um, the training approach needs to be structured in a cutting phase and a building phase. Why a cutting phase and a building phase? Let me explain. You can't continuously punish, punish, punish your body to failure in a, like a building phase environment. Your immune system is going to go. You're going to get irregularly sick. Your tendons is going to get sore, going to break eventually. Your joints is going to start getting problems. So your body won't be able to handle it, full stop. Not even for young guys. Your body won't be able to handle it. So you need to have an environment where you punish your body, but you allow your body to also recover. Uh, now, the best approach uh, I found is that if you use a three-month period that you punish your body, you rest for one week, then you use a three-month period again where you allow your body to recover during the cutting phase, and then rest for one week again, and then repeat the cycle. So building phase three months, rest one week, cutting phase three months, rest one week, repeat. The building phase is typically an environment where you train to failure on just about every set. Now, some guys say, this is crazy. And I say, sorry, that's the way it works. If you want to grow and ignite for your body for growth, you need to train to failure on every set. Complete muscle failure. In the building phase, you would typically do less reps per set. So we do about six to eight reps per set and train to failure. In the cutting phase, you would use the exact same uh, exercises that you used in the building phase, but with the difference that you now train per set in a higher rep rate. So the amount of reps that you would do would be typically 12 to 15 reps per set in the cutting phase, plus never to failure. Because the whole idea is that in the cutting phase you allow your, your tendons, your joints, well, your body to strengthen, to repair, and to recover. And what you will see is after this cutting phase, when you go back into the building phase again, you would actually be much stronger. So let's now look at your part two. That is your diet. Now diet, everybody, uh, you know I've been preaching this, determines about 80% of your success. Now, um, you don't have to believe me, but if you don't get your diet under control, you're not going to get success in, in shaping your body. Full stop. Now, there's many guys out there that try solutions to diets. All these things that's on the internet and bodybuilding videos about uh, carb cycling, carb depletion, intermittent fasting, and many other. You know, and I say stay away. Because unless you're like a competitive bodybuilder and you really want to cut down to a 4 or 3% body fat level, that is not the way to go. You need a lifestyle approach, something that you can stick to day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out. That needs to be a healthy lifestyle that's maintainable for the rest of your life. That is how the body responds, with small steps. Never big leaps, because a big leap means you're going to fall. Small steps means you're gradually climbing a ladder of success. I'm putting up on the screen for you, um, well, my typical cutting face diet. And... Uh, this cutting phase diet has got regular meals in it, you will see. There's about, what, seven meals in there. And uh, th there's a big reason why there's regular meals. Number one, a regular meal system prevents your body from starting craving the wrong type of foods because you feed your body really regularly. Plus, regular meals keeps your metabolism in overdrive mode. When your metabolism is high, it's easier to burn fat, it's easier to lose fat. 
So this is a very good starting point. This is a cutting phase diet. Now what you must remember is that no diet will be correctly, how can I say, designed for your body. It doesn't even matter if a, a nutritious is designed for your body. Each person is different from the other one. So if you want to use a diet successfully, you need to manage this diet so that it gets in tune with your body. How do you do that? Uh, it's, it's a quite intensive process. It's a 14-day monitoring process and adjusting process. Now, I can't discuss this in this video because it's going to make the video too long. But I'm going to put up the link for you on the screen now. And please follow that link because this is the critical part of the whole thing. That you need to follow this process to make sure that this diet that I'm putting up on the screen is correctly aligned for your body. You need to get to the sweet spot. Now, what is the sweet spot? The sweet spot is where you burn fat but not muscle and this is where a lot of people fall flat on their face because what they they do is they they target their calories too low and their bodies see that as like let's say famine kind of environment and what does it what what do their body do they burn more muscle than the actual fat now they think wow i'm losing on the scale but in the meantime back to the ranch they're losing shape they're losing all their hard earned muscle and they're looking worse and worse and worse by the day and they can't understand it Okay, so this is the critical part of it. So you can't just grab a diet, not even a nutritionist can't just give you a diet. You need to align this diet specifically for you through this monitoring process. It's a very scientific process and it's a proven process. A lot of the top bodybuilders use this kind of method. So um, this is the cutting diet. Now how do you change this diet, this cutting diet, into a building phase diet? You adjust the calories upwards by about 10%, never more than 10%. You never change your diets, calories, up or down, with more than 10% at one single time. When you do that, you're gonna create havoc for your body for two, three, four, five weeks. And you don't want to do that, because then whatever monitoring process you do is gonna be worthless, basically, because your body's gonna need time to adjust to this huge change in calories. So never more than a 10% change in calories across the board, in a diet. So when you go from a cutting phase diet to a building phase diet, the idea is that you up your calories so that your body is in a surplus environment for calories. Yes, you're going to put on a little bit of body fat and things like that, but you need to put on body fat. If you don't put on body fat, your muscles do not grow effectively. In a cutting phase environment, you drop fat, but you keep your muscle. So you're not really interested in building significant muscle in your cutting phase. Cutting phase. Usually it's not really possible unless you're on anabolic steroids. In the building phase, you up the calories so that you go add a little bit body fat and that makes the whole process of building muscle so much easier. But be careful, don't put on too much body fat. I usually say in the cutting phase, my target is about 6-7% body fat. In, in the building phase, 9, maybe touching on 10% body fat. Part 3, let's look at your exercises. So the program I'm putting up on the screen for you now, that is a building phase uh, training environment. Uh, now the building phase training environment, uh, as you remember earlier, I said uh, your rep range needs to be about 6 to 8 reps per set and to failure, absolute muscle failure. When you want to change this into the cutting phase uh, training program, all you need to do, you use the same exercises. All you need to do, you up the rep range to about 12 to 20 per set of an exercise and you don't train to absolute muscle failure. Very important. You need to give in the cutting phase environment for the training. You need to give your body that time to heal, repair and strengthen. This particular training program that I'm putting up on the screen, that's a proven training program. It's a balanced training program targeting all the muscles in the body in a correct fashion to stimulate and ignite growth. It's, it's really proven, so don't play around with too many other variables. Start with this. Later on, when you really know what you're doing, you can start introducing some new stuff and, and add some new stuff. But this is the core. There's a lot of compound moves in there, and that is, that is one of the key factors for, for significant muscle growth. Now, obviously, some of you out there, you know you're going to start at ground zero. I mean, you've never touched a weight 
So I strongly suggest that you don't jump into this system at, uh, like from day one. Rather go through, I'm going to put the link up on the screen now for you. Go through this, read through this article. This is what I specifically wrote for people that started ground zero, that never touched a weight. To allow you to get used to the weights, used to the techniques, um, introduce training to, you, to your body. It's about a three to a four month period that you need to follow before you jump into this kind of system. You will see in the training program, there's a four day week training and then the fifth day, which is usually the Saturday. That is where you need to focus on your weak areas. Now, obviously you are the only one that would know your weak areas. So particularly uh, what I suggest for, for, for many guys is that they need to overdevelop their traps, their side delts and their upper pecs. That gives the body an impressive look. Part for your supplements. Now, many of you that's been following me for a long time know that I'm very outspoken against supplements. Please don't listen to the marketing ads that you see your supplements. That is all junk and lies. There is very few supplements that really, really work out there. Okay, and I'm just going to discuss the core of the really, I can say, scientifically proven supplements. The rest of them, just leave it alone. The bodybuilding supplements that you that you can use just before training mix yourself a shake of branch chain amino acids bcaa okay you get it in in a in a powder form these days so it doesn't taste that bad anymore and the past it changed really awful uh, plus put a little bit of l glutamine in there shake it up just use water shake it up and then while training you sip 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 on it during the whole training okay what does that do that prevents your body from going catabolic catabolic means your body starts using your muscle instead of your fat and you never want to be in a catabolic environment so that bccaa plus the l-glutamine helps to prevent this kind of situation now immediately after training you use uh, whey protein in water you put a little bit of L-glutamine in there, shake it up, drink it, and you eat a, a ripe banana. You need to spike your insulin immediately after training to help um, for the muscle growth. Um, then the only other supplements you need to use is basically health kind of supplements. But you must remember, you're going to put your body under a lot of pressure in this uh, body transformation that you're going to under undertake. And uh, that pressure is going to mean your immune system is going to drop. So you need to really give your body uh, a way to fight off any diseases and, and to keep your immune system strong. Because the more you're going to be sick, the more you're going to be out of gym. And that is how a lot of guys' transformation get derailed because they, they're off sick too regularly. So what, what can you do to prevent that? Use a very, very potent uh, multivitamin. There's about two, two very specific ones that's there for bodybuilders on the market. Uh, you can email me or leave a comment. I'll, I'll let you know which, which, which those is. I don't like to promote uh, supplements in my video. Uh, and then I strongly suggest that you also use alpha lipoic acid and coenzyme Q10 on a daily basis. Now that's about the core of the whole system. Uh, obviously this is generic and as I said earlier on, um, I do provide customized systems where I look at your specific body, where your weak areas are, and then also what your goals are, and then I design for you specifically a system. So if you're interested in a very specific system, the link is on the screen there right now. Just visit that link. Uh, you can see more exactly what the system entails. And if you're interested, contact me and we can put the ball into rolling. But if you want to use the system, it's a rock solid system. It's going to produce a lot of results and I truly wish you success. Cheers everybody. Gertler from Cape Town, signing off.